Sri, it's a pleasure to welcome you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you've been here for a long time, been on the Wall Street scene for much longer as a senior executive, been with many other firms here. Um, I think it's uh, off the bat, it's a good first question is obviously to understand the New York City because it is the hub and the national capital for finance, not only for U.S. but for around the world. Absolutely. So it gives uh, an opportunity for me and for a lot of other young startups to learn for people like you to understand the landscape in when it comes to fintech especially. Absolutely. If you really look at New York, we do have big banks, investment banks, not only from the consumer side, but we do a lot of innovation. And uh, the fintech, uh, this is actually the capital of fin financial technology, if you see. And uh, name any technology. In Wall Street, we talk about artificial intelligence, machine learning, and blockchain. Now everything is evolving, right. and big companies, is, uh, they, they're all part and parcel of it. Uh, what is also important to learn is when these big companies are investing so heavily in infrastructure, obviously sometimes you know they're not so uh, focused on innovation. Yes. And innovation comes from startups because they're nimble. Yes. Big companies are not nimble. They take time because I think somewhere the process and bureaucracy come into play. Yes. So how do you balance that? If you really look at uh, big companies, we do have innovation as a separate department. And we do work with startups and learn from them rather than reinvent the wheel we pick the best one and try to leverage the knowledge and the skill set from these startups so again big banks not working or not uh, really focusing on innovation is just a myth okay and we do have a lot of innovation happening day in and day out because uh you know, and it's so true because they are the one of the major industries that invest so heavily with it, you know, yes. IT infrastructure. Uh, but having said that, um, there are two ways of growing. One is organic, one is inorganic. Yes. Um, so when it comes to acquisitions, yes. uh, some pointers to the startups. You have to be passionate about your startup. You need to know your product in and out. And also the solving the problem, that's the major aspect of any startup. What problem are they really solving? And what is that they are after? It's very important to understand the backbone of solving problem. And then they come up with a solution. That solution ought to be very unique, and it should solve the world hunger, maybe, at some point. That's how it should so, be. So I think once these goals, and everybody aims to achieve these goals, but the problem happens when the rubber meets the road is, you know, how do I knock on the doors of these big companies? Uh, do I get hold of the trees of the world to say, you know, can they mentor me and then take me to the next step? So there is a big pain point for startups. Any advice on that? You should not be afraid. You should be reaching out to people even if they say no. I would like to help any startup to give guidance, whatever they need. But at the same time, they should not be afraid. That fearlessness in reaching out to either VCs or any senior executives asking for help is not a bad thing. That's something they have to do consistently and persistently. Uh, coming to the reason why you and I are here, which is the Vizak FinTech Festival. Absolutely. A great initiative by the government of Andhra Pradesh, led yes. by obviously a very, very capable CEO, Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu. Yes. Um, and you are a native yes. of the state. So um, governments, and I've been asking this to other uh, speakers as well throughout the day, is, you know, policy is very important. And then implementation of policy is the second part of it. Yes. So some governments are good with writing policies, but not everybody is good at implementing that and actually getting it executed. Uh, your thoughts on the festival and how we're taking the startups to Vizak? No other state did what Honorable Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidgar is doing. Really a state government coming up with innovative ideas and inviting the entire world to and, and challenge them. The government is spending million dollars, understand what are the solutions that are available across the board and invite them to the FinTech Valley, that's Vizak and have them start their operations. There are a lot of incentives government is providing, which is awesome. Thank you, uh, you know, again, for uh, hosting us, for helping us out for this event. Thank I you. I think it's turned out for a fabulous event. Appreciate all the help.
Thank you for sitting down with me. Thank you very much. Right. I appreciate it.